Killed this afternoon in a plane crash near the airport in Siler City. Eyewitness News is at that scene with what we know. And the U.S. Supreme Court reverses a ban on bump stocks. The high court saying the accessory that lets a semi-automatic rifle fire at a very high rate falls short of turning a rifle into a machine gun. What we're learning about that decision in Washington. And new here at 5 o'clock, the ABC 11 troubleshooter getting answers for a family facing $40,000 in medical debt. I should rest easy at night that when I pay a monthly bill. How we were able to help the family clear the bill after months of no success. And our days in the 90s are here. We're tracking near record setting heat today as we get you ready for a string of very hot days. Eyewitness News at 5 starts right now. See what's happening this instant. ABC 11 Eyewitness News at 5 starts right now. Breaking news right now in Chatham County. Two people on board a small plane have been killed after the plane went down near Siler City Airport. Here's a live look there from Chopper 11 of what's left there at that wreckage scene. Thanks so much for joining us for Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock. I'm Lauren Johnson. Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Daniels. The crash happened about a mile southeast of the airport, and the FAA is telling Eyewitness News that single engine plane crashed just before 1 p.m., killing both people on board. Cindy Bay is live uh, just a few feet from that crash site from that wooded area where we can see the plane went down from Chopper 11. What are you learning there from all the investigators on the scene, Cindy? Yeah, well, guys, we moved locations to get closer to the scene as we can. And so this is a field off of South Air. Road where we saw Siler City Fire Department pull in. There's also an ambulance, and as you can see behind me, uh, State Highway Patrol still remains at the scene. And so, uh, from our vantage point, we're still uh, looking at a wooded area, but our Chopper 11 can give you a closer look of the crash. Uh, we're talking about this wooded area that's about a mile south, southeast of the airport, and the plane that crashed uh, close to one this afternoon is a single engine Piper PA 28, according to authorities. An aviation expert I reached who tells me that this aircraft is primarily used for training or recreational general aviation. Uh, it can seat two to four people, and we're told that two people were